well, well, I moved here in 1972 uh, to Harrison, and uh, I, I was in Arizona, living in Arizona at the time. We were concerned about what we felt was going to be an invasion of illegal aliens, and so we decided to move here in 72 for the purpose of setting up a ministry in the heartland of America. And we liked Harrison area, we liked the people here. We didn't come to change anything, we just came to be part of, part of what Harrison was. Uh, Eureka is a place that, what's, what's magical. We are the blue dot in the middle of a red. The city leaders have marketed this town uh, to be LGBT friendly, to be a wedding, you know, a large wedding venue, wedding capital, to have the arts, to have the galleries. Well, you know, as an organization, we can't, we don't uh, endorse any of it. I can't stand up here and speak as a, or a church or as a director of the National of the Knights Party and say, okay, we endorse this candidate, or endorse that candidate. But personally, uh, I supported Donald Trump. Uh, with a certain amount of caution because there are things about Donald Trump I'm sure that I'm going to be very disappointed in. And uh, so it's, it isn't like I'm just thinking that Donald Trump is like the savior delivered from the heavens. But I do believe that he does speak the concerns that what uh, white Americans are speaking nationwide, whether it be uh, the working class, what they call the working class, or people that are professionals. I do believe that the, he is speaking their concerns about America and, and, and the, uh, the the foundation that we have lost in this country. But the election, it was just, you know, Bernie rallies and Hillary rallies and the big watch parties, um, you know, and it was knowing what Eureka has done and how the country has come. The next morning we woke up after the election, I think everybody cried. I think, I think the, the, biggest, the biggest issue facing uh, this country is the demographics, the racial demographics of the country. As late as 1970, America was 92% white. And I was raised in Detroit. Detroit was a, uh, the motor capital of the world. It was a working class capital of the nation. It was a wonderful place to, to grow up in. With President Obama, it's like everything has changed. It was just great to see, you know, a black man standing there as President of the United States. When you saw that, it was as soon as that happened, especially the second time he was elected, it was like you knew America was going in a new direction. And so with everything that he passed, and you just felt better. You know, you felt better. I, you know, it was just one of those things where you didn't want to see it end. I mean, we, we, have, we have the illegal aliens. That's bad enough, but we're bringing in millions of so-called legal aliens. They're changing demographics and changing our communities and changing the way we do business, the way we, uh, way we shop and stores we avoid at night because, because they're danger zones. You know, it's very scary to drive through places like Harrison, you know, or drive through, you know, any little, pot you know, town. And if we're not careful, soon we'll be like Europe or we're like England, where there's areas where there are no go zones. You just don't go to those areas. And so uh, America is, is, is uh, facing those issues. And, and uh, it, it's, it's going to take people who uh, express real love for our people. Uh, I, I don't hate anybody, but I do love my people. I do love my heritage. And I do want to preserve a future for them and their children. Eureka Springs is the only place that you will see motorcyclists walking behind drag queens with a little old, old couple holding hands with a family and no one even bats an eye. So that's, that's you know, part of coming to Eureka. There's so many people that come through and they're like, wow, we had no idea.